Well, recent drug investigations in La Crosse County are making the community a bit safer by taking fatal drugs off the streets. News 19's Roger Staffaroni spoke with some of those investigators to learn how crucial these cases are and the challenges they pose. We're going after the drug dealers, the, the people that are bringing the poisons into our system, uh, into our communities, uh, and making sure that we can try to knock that down best we can. This week, the La Crosse County Sheriff's Office shared the news that several drug investigations led to eight arrests. These guys do this every day. There's some, there's some very skilled officers in this area that, that put a lot, a lot of time in this. The most recent efforts led to two arrests at a town of Campbell Hotel, where drugs and other related items were allegedly being sold out of a room. Seized were 96 grams of methamphetamine in addition to 7 grams of cocaine and over 100 prescription pills. Well, it's, it's very good because of the, the severity of these drugs that we're, you know, it's um, the ones we're going after, you know, heroin, fentanyl, methamphetamine, those are the drugs that we're focusing on. And uh, to be able to get the amounts that we're getting off the streets, you know, hopefully we like to say it's going to save a lot of lives. That holds especially true with fentanyl, dangerous to anyone who comes into contact with it in any form. Just touching it with your bare skin and, you know, just even if it's just a slight powder on a table and we swipe it away, um, that getting into the air is extremely dangerous. There have been uh, incidents in which officers dealing with fentanyl have gotten accidental exposure uh, just in, in handling the materials. So the goal remains the same getting the drugs out of the community and helping the community recover. You know, most people, if they say just about everybody at this point at least knows somebody or has had a family member either with addiction or, or knows somebody who's died of overdose. It's a complex uh, problem, um, but um, like I said, the, the officers that work in our area are very dedicated to making sure that we keep um, our community a little bit safer every day. In La Crosse, Roger Staffaroni, WXOW News 19. The La Crosse Sheriff's Office and Metropolitan Enforcement Group worked with the Onalaska, Bangor, and Campbell Police Departments, as well as the Monroe County Sheriff's Office and La Crosse County Jail on this investigation. A lot of agencies coming together, mm -hmm. and so far they're crediting seven arrests to this effort.